Hi, first grade friends. I'm Mr. Gady, and I'm going to read you a book. Well, when I was a little boy, I used to get real scared of things like this hallway in my house. But then I discovered it's actually not so scary. And that's what happened with Harry. Except it wasn't the hallway that Harry was afraid of. It was the cellar. And this book is called Harry and the Terrible What's It. And it was written by Dick Gackenbach. I knew there was something terrible down in the cellar. I just knew because the cellar was dark and damp and it smelled. Don't go down there, I told my mother. Why, she asked. There's something terrible down there. I have to go down to the cellar, she said. We need a jar of pickles. She never believes me. I waited and waited and waited at the cellar door. She never came back up. Someone had to do something, so I took a broom and I went down the cellar steps. It was very black and gloomy and it smelled. I know there's something here, I called out. What did you do with my mother? Then I saw it. A double-headed, three-clawed, six-toed, long-horned, what's it? It was hiding behind the furnace. Where's my mother, I asked it. The last time I saw your mother, the what's it said, she was over by the pickle jars, runt. I was sure the what's it was lying. What did you do with her? I shouted and I gave it a swat with the broom. Wham! That made the what's it really mad and it came after me. I swung the broom again. Wham! The what's it didn't like that at all. It climbed up on the washer and I hit it right where it sits down. I noticed the what's it was getting smaller. And when I pulled its tail, it got even smaller. Now the what's it was down to my size. Okay, you better tell me what you did with my mother, I said, or else. Kid, you're crazy, the what's it answered. One of the heads made a face at me. Just for that, I twisted a nose and the what's it shrank some more. Why are you getting so small, I asked. Because you aren't afraid of me anymore, the what's it said. That always happens just when I'm beginning to feel at home in a closet or a cellar. The what's it looked very sad. The what's it got smaller and smaller and smaller. And just when it was about the size of a peanut, I called out, mm -hmm. Try Sheldon Parker's cellar next door. He's afraid of everything. Thanks, I heard it say. Then the what's it was gone. The what's it disappeared before it could tell me what it had done to my mother. I looked in the washer. She wasn't there. I looked behind some boxes. My mother wasn't there either. I looked inside the wood bin. No mother there. I was very worried. Then I found her glasses beside the pickle jars. But what had happened to the rest of her? I was searching for more clues when I discovered the back cellar door was open. I looked outside and there in the bright sunshine was my mother picking flowers. Boy, was I glad to see her. I found your glasses in the cellar, I said. 
Thank you, Harry, she said, but I thought you were afraid of the cellar. Not any more, I answered, the terrible what's it is gone. I chased it away with my broom. Well, she said, I never saw what's it down there. She never believes me. I helped her carry the pickles into the kitchen where she gave me some milk and cookies. You know what, Harry, my mother said, I will never worry about a what's it as long as you were around. Maybe she did believe me. Arr! Later, I heard an awful yell coming from the house next door. I'll bet Sheldon looked in the cellar. And here's the back cover of the book. Remember the front cover looked like this and the back cover looks like this. Well, thanks for reading that book with me, you first grade friends.